Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. How is everyone doing? So I just want to share something with you really, really quick. I've been working on two resin art pieces and it came today. I am so happy because there, there was going to be a bit of an issue with uh, the post office. However, it got all cleared up. I'm so happy. So my dryer days order came and I got this guy, this guy, and I got this mold. And I made this, it's like a natural geode mold, silicone mold. And these are called Rebel Glitters and this is called Fair Winds. And this is so beautiful. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. And then this is the lavender. It has it's a color shift um, glitter. It's so beautiful. It's like more chunky. And this is their card, Dryer Days Art Studio. And her name is Catherine. She was so nice. Uh, she helped me out today. Um, I guess that's the owner. And she directly contacted me. There was something going on with UPS, and she cleared up immediately. And I got my order, so it was awesome. So I'm so excited about that. And what I used in this one, I used some clear uh, chunky crushed mirror, uh, purple crushed mirror, and then I used this plum uh, by Primal Flow, pale amethyst, bright gold, and the white gold mica in this guy right here. So I'm going to unmold that with you tomorrow. Now this is an experiment. In here, there's clear resin on top of acrylic skins. I've been, I had this idea. I don't know if anyone else did it before, but I haven't seen it. Um, and I was like, you know what? I want to see if I can use my acrylic skins in a different way. And I said, let me try this out and see what happens. So we're going to test that out tomorrow. Now this guy is absolutely awesome. I cannot wait to unmold this. This is my candy inspired uh, notebook cover. This is the big guy. This is so cool. Look at that. And I added the little resin gift from Primal Flow. Some cool little lollipops, lollipops. This is, these are the, um, slime charms and then I use that uh, those fake sprinkles I did use the fair winds and those rebel glitters in here as well uh, I use some uh, the red uh, glass chips and then there are the sprinkles and I just went crazy it's like little gummy bears fake gummy bears this is so cute so tomorrow I'm gonna come back and I am going to unmold this with you, okay? So it's gonna be a little project share. And also just a quick announcement. I was thinking of doing like maybe a short series during this pandemic. I wanted to do maybe a series, maybe a five videos. I don't know how long it's gonna go. Maybe as long as this whole thing continues from this point on I don't know but at least I want to start the series it's just going to be me painting with music I'm not going to be talking on here talk about any products I use or anything like that it's just going to be me painting and I may paint like two or three pieces in one video just more of an art therapy um, type of a situation uh, maybe I'll throw a little ASMR. I mean, I don't know. Um, I don't really have this, you know, the mic for that. But uh, I've personally been watching a lot of AM ASMR lately. Um, it is very relaxing for me. But I just want to do more of like an art therapy situation where you just see me paint and some music, some nice relaxing music to get you in the mood, uh, just to get you relaxed and stuff like that. So and because usually I talk about the products I use and what I'm doing and then I get back on and I show you how it came out 
in this series, I just want to, like, I will put in all of my, um, you know, like, all the products I use, like, in the description as always, but I just want to, like, paint, and you guys listen to music and watch me paint, and I just want to see how that goes. It'll probably be, like, shorter videos, but it'll just be more, like, kind of relaxing, uh, I mean, not talking as much. Just, I just want to see how it goes, and I'm going to start, you know, I'm going to do like three to five videos in this series, or maybe I just want to continue to do that um, for a while, and just so that you guys enjoy and kind of get relaxed and get into the moment, because a lot of times I talk about the products I use, which is great because I like to share with you what I'm using. I also like to share like, you know, what I think is good, what I think does not work so well so that you guys don't waste money. And, you know, if I find like a good deal on something, I do like to share that as well. Um, but in this video series, I just kind of like want to paint. I want you guys to listen to some music and just kind of relax during this stressful time. Okay. So, and I'm going to call it, what did I going to call it? <laughs> uh, relax chill relax create okay so crc chill relax create so i want to be doing uh quite a few videos on that and i just want you to enjoy yourself um because i'm watching a lot of videos like that just something for me to relax and kind of get my mind off of stuff all right guys so i will be back later we're gonna unmold this beautiful guy right here we're gonna see how that came out my little experiment and we're gonna see how this beauty came out right here all right so stay tuned i will be back later bye for now Hey guys, I am back. So let's start off with this guy. I did take him out already because I wanted to get these little hooks in. But whoops, that's how that dried or cured. And see, this was the actual side I wanted to be showing. But see, part of the resin covered it and the other a part did not. But it still works if you use it this way you can actually use it as a little chain I mean you put a little uh, like jewelry wire here or something like that and yeah so it did work so next time the side that I want to show I'll put it on the other side and then just pour on top of it but it's still kind of cool it's another way for me to use my acrylic um, skins see and I can actually do coasters with this or whatever I want all right, so on to the next one. So this mold, again, was from Dryer Days. And let's open this guy up. He's nice and thick. Let's see. So how is everyone doing today? Let me know how you're doing. This is coming out pretty easily. Just taking my time. I don't want to pull too hard. And it is stuck for some reason. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Wow, why is that stuck? Interesting, interesting. Not making me happy. I hope this is not gonna ruin my mold. I just bought it. Let's see. Oh wait. Alright. Slowly. Okay. I can get it out. Do not want to rip the mold. Just bought it. Huh. Wonder why that is happening. Maybe there's like a lot of ridges. Hold on. Let me pull pressure that way. Hmm. Why is that? Huh. That is not good. Well, I mean, it's 
gorgeous if I could get it out. That would be awesome. I wonder why that is happening. I've never had this happen before in any one of my molds. So I am going to put this to the side for a second. But I wish I could show you though. This is gorgeous. I mean, if I could get it out. Uh, you know, I'm going to put that to the side for a second. Because I don't want to yank on it and ruin anything. I mean, forget about the res. I don't want to ruin the mold. But if anyone knows why that happens. But anyway, I will get back to that in a minute. Anyway, this came out gorgeous. Um, when it was still pliable, because I over poured a little bit over on this side. So I just pop this side out and I kind of trimmed the sides here but anyway let's take her out and see look comes out beautiful I mean that's the back of it but obviously this is going to be the front and this came out absolutely beautiful I'm gonna there's like a little uh, rough on this side so I can just kind of like whoops file that out I am having all sorts of difficulties tonight, huh? All right. Let's... Now. Thank you. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, this came out beautiful. Look at that. See, some of the pieces kind of sunk down a little bit. Others are popping out. This really, really, really is adorable. I love the way this came out. Just perfect. I had the little holes for the rings. Yep. So that came out perfect. I lo absolutely love this. I love this candy inspired notebook cover. Yeah, I just over poured a little bit and it was so easy. I literally just took like a little scissor and I just cut the edges and then I could just smooth it out a little bit. But other than that, it is perfect all over around. And that is awesome. Yay. So I will be right back because at 7 o'clock, I want to show you what goes on in my neighborhood. But I'm going to deal with this other mold right quick. And then, because I want to show you the finished product. Okay? Hold on. I'll be right back. Hey guys, yeah. I, I just, I had to apply a little more pressure here. It just, for some reason, right around here, it really got stuck. And I don't know why that happened. Um, like I said, I never had that happen before. But I actually never had one with the, um, it's like more of a natural geode uh, mold. So there's something about these ridges where it actually got stuck on really well. But this came out really cool. So that's, that's, that's that side. And that is the other side. This is really came out beautiful I am in love with this so over here I had put the purple crushed mirror and over here I put the clear crushed mirror and then I put that beautiful um, I put both glitters the fair winds and that rubble glitter that lavender that color shift and it came out absolutely gorgeous. This is really beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to be back in a minute. And I am going to show you what goes on every night in my neighborhood at 7 p.m. Okay? I will be right back. Hey guys, I am back. So um, I just want to give you one last look at this. Again, this is from Dryer Days. And I got 10% off with uh, Naptime Creations uh, code, just Naptime. And this came out, I just, I'm in love with this. And I just wanted to show you real quick, I put the little, um, the claw uh, guys in so that I could put my paper in when I get uh, paper this size. And yeah, so that's that. I stuck them through, went really good, and that is done until I get the paper. And then I may actually do the flip side, or I could use a piece of cardboard. So I just want to remind you before what is going to happen in a few minutes. Um, 
uh, don't forget that I'm going to be doing a new video series and it's going to be me painting. I'm going to do maybe like two or three paintings, a video, and this could be me painting and music in the background. You know, I tend to like, I like um, kind of happy music, uh, music you could dance to, or like really kind of moving music. So I want to do some of that type of stuff where you just kind of just relax, watch me paint and listen to the music. And again, you know, if you were wondering what materials I was using, they'll always be in the description below. So yeah, I'm going to start that series very soon. Uh, probably the next video I do, I want to start that. Uh, chill, relax, create. Okay, and you know what? You should do that yourself. You should just listen to some music. Even if you're not an artist, you should just get you know, maybe get a coloring book and draw something to relieve any anxiety or stress. I want this to be kind of more of a art therapy kind of session for you guys. And yes, that's my idea. And yeah, because we just found out that we have to stay at home for another month. So, yep, they pretty much ordered that. Um, for like all only essential workers to go out and work so I mean I work from home anyway but um, yeah so that is the deal so to alleviate some stress we're going to create some artwork and just listen to some music and those are going to be my next uh, videos so I am going to now this should be starting any minute now and uh, let's walk you over here. So this is my window. It's going to start any minute. So a lot of people, um, they literally have drums. They take their pots. They take uh, whistles. And they just start going crazy um, in a couple of minutes. I have my <laughs> New Year's Eve. Uh, horns here um, yeah so make it a little loud I just shut my air conditioner off for you guys so that um, it doesn't get annoying with the sound and it should start any minute now so let me know what time you guys um, if, you, if your town does this it, it look how quiet it is out there is no one on these streets there's literally no one there's barely any cars look at that there's, there's really no one out. Um, you know, you have the few people here and there. And here it's starting. Hold your ears, guys. Oh, that didn't work. Get the other one. Yeah, let me know guys when when uh, your town does this I just I don't know I enjoy this every night it just gives me hope everyone is a community everyone is going through this together everyone's giving thanks to all the essential workers anyone who's suffering out there and um, I just love this every night I hope you could hear all that Oh, by the way, that was my mother. She didn't know I was recording. <laughs> There's one guy recording over there. Yeah, so this is what kind of lifts me up every night. Uh, besides doing our making videos for you guys, which I don't do often enough. Um, and that's kind of putting me off, you know. This is what, you know, it really helps. Um just lift everyone's spirits up. I think the whole, you know, we are a whole community. 
uh, and not just my community, but literally the whole world is doing this just at different times. And I think this is so uplifting and amazing. And we're pretty much staying in our homes, you know, we're, we're listening. Even the bus is beeping, which is awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to do one more. Alright guys, I'm going to leave on a high note. I hope you liked this video. And you know, if you did, please give me a thumbs up, share it, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Everyone stay safe. Stay healthy, stay inside, wash your hands, and just take care of one another. Bye, guys.